Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Black Myth Wukong. We're here in Chapter 6, and it seems as though it, this is Chapter 6. We ride around clouds looking for bosses, and I wonder, can I get on the cricket's back? Oh, is this what you do? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Watch, okay. Wait, am I gonna hold to clutch? Okay. Oh my word, is this just some sort of like like puzzle fight? Uh-oh. Uh interesting. Shoot, where'd you go? That was fascinating. Anyway, so last time we took up five bosses. Who knows how many more are to come? I'm so curious about that cricket. Maybe I just have to hold on until he gets weary, but one thing I do want to do is head towards the lightning. That led me towards a major boss fight. Ooh, waterfall. We'll go there soon. Go there soon. But yes, it uh, led me to a major fight and a keeper shrine, which seemed important. So let's see what this next clearing has. Oh yeah, something's here. Looks like we got some snow, too, which is interesting. Well, you are fascinating. Cloud treading deer. Can I actually, you know what, now that I think about it, can I use this in combat? No. No, you cannot use Somersault Cloud in combat. Okay, lightning fusion. want to get a little bit more damage. I'm going to use my own uh, tornadoes. You just you just summoned more tornadoes though. <laughs> what? I just went across the map. Is that not the same move as the deer in uh, Elden Ring? Okay, heal up. And... I would like you to be... Yeah, there we go. I could have died there. Good. Rock solid right after he hits you. Where are you? Oh, I'm so cold. Oh well. Let's just finish this. Oh shoot, obviously not over, obviously not over. Okay, yeah, I don't know why. Oh, there's, there's my friend at least. Can you, 
Can you get closer so I can actually not waste this, please? Okay, good. Oh, I'm poisoned. Okay, heal up. Hit. I don't think I want anything to do with these. Just run, 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 run. Good. Huge damage. 1800. Finish, finish, finish. All right, there we go. Not a very fancy finish, but. Step away. This time, the glory's mine. <laughs> Fine then, fine. With you monkeys around, I'm always toiling away for nothing. <sighs> Kid, when you step up one day, try not to forget your Uncle Bajir. All I got from Wukong were the nasty jobs. You should do better than that. <sighs> now we're done here. Time to move on. <laughs> Lotus Silk Cloud Treaders. Okay, maximum stamina, very nice. And wait, was there, was there a Keeper Shrine this time? No? Okay. So, let's head to the waterfall. Please, oh please, hide something behind the waterfall. Hippos, don't really care about those. No. Really? You just just gonna block it like alright, is there anything above it? Can't go above it. That's it. Oh, what a bummer. Okay, so where to next? Find the next bolt of lightning, or should I go look for that cricket? Oh. Here it's under, but I'm not seeing any lightning. Now let's... Let's go down a little bit, just in case, you know, we're missing some boss fights down here. That's where I just was. I, the hunt for the old Wukong armor is really interesting, but I feel like they could have done it In a, in a better way, right? I don't know. I don't want to just whine, but 
Wah. <laughs> Wine, I apparently, apparently will. What do we have here? What do we have here? An another poison chief? Oh, that's loud, sorry. Okay, I want to do it. Oh shoot, no, nope. heal, 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 never mind. Yeah. Heal again. What? And transform because why not? Not gonna get any lightning on him, that's okay. Heal. Being a little bit reckless here. Okay, but we got him. We're also uh, slowly dying. Do I have any anti miasma? No? No anti miasma? <laughs> oh, whoops. Alright, just heal through it. Okay. Now the cricket's nearby, so that might be a fun one to go take out. But where is nearby? Guess you sound closer than you really are, huh? Oh, I see the antenna. Okay. Probably gonna leave before I get there. Oh, we didn't go too far. Will I get there in time? I wonder if you just need to have enough stamina. Maybe it's some sort of battle of attrition. I'll just I'll just hold it. Still holding? What? What? I didn't even let go. What was that game? Hmm. Well. I guess uh, I'll have to hunt more stuff. <laughs> and zip around the cliffs. Oh, is this another poison chief? What? Why are there so many? Oh my gosh, don't...
Get up there. That's fine. I don't mind being poisoned. Oh my gosh, am I actually going to get a little bit of lightning damage? A little bit. <laughs> Not much at all. Oh, we actually stopped him. Good. Good. Come on. All we need to do is hit this and we're done. Kind of thought maybe I was gonna uh, fail that. So two, two more poison chiefs. Okay. That's that's three bosses already. This is definitely very much a boss rush. Okay. So, am I seeing any more lightning? This clearing looks suspicious, doesn't it? Bang, ba, ba. Oh, it's a new frog! Oh, did that to her. Oh, you have summons? Hold on, hold on. Are they fighting him? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. They're fighting him. Kind of. No, they're not. Are they? Jeez. So they are kind of fighting him, but also me? Um, I, I haven't been able to move in some time. Oh, come on. What is this fight? He's only interested in me, but... Oh, come on. Got killed by the archers. Ew. What? What is happening? Are they fighting me? Are they fighting him? Are we fighting each other? Get killed by a frog. Actually, no, I didn't get killed by a frog. Can keep my head held high. And now we gotta fly on a cloud for ages. <laughs> Wait. Why would you... Why would you put me here and not at the actual shrine? That was weird. All right, so if the waterfall's that way, I think that's... Oh, is that the clearing strata? It is, okay. You know what? Maybe this is a good place for pluck of many. I think it might be. Oh, good golly, Miss Molly. I'm gonna die. I am gonna die. Are you?
Why am I getting salty about a frog? That was just, that was poor playing on my part. All right, I'm gonna zip on over. Absolutely insane damage. Oh, stop with the screaming. Wait, oh, he's hardened? That was an insane amount of damage. Heal up. I think I need to charge up some focus. Oh, you... Come on. What? I hope this does something. Did it break? Did he harden again? Oh, oh my. All right. Well, we got him. Thanks. Celestial Birthstone Fragment. Gross. <laughs> okay. Well, and a tadpole, good. So what's my uh, new curios? Ignores the enemy's four banes resistant. That is pretty cool. I don't know that I've ever really seen something like that before. So you wear that and you can poison an enemy that can't be poisoned. You can shock an enemy that can't be shocked. That's pretty interesting. All right, game. That was cool. That's a cool curio. Oh, oh. Where are you? You seem so close. Nope, nope, you're not. Where are you? Are you someplace I can't get? Oh, I see the antenna. Go, 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 go. I don't know if I have to hold on and then, like, let go and then do it again when it says R2. I mean, I'm holding it. What? No. Do you have to mash it? That would be weird. He definitely went this way. I don't see him. Ugh, frustrating. I also don't hear him. You know what would be cool, and I know they won't because they've already explained that this only works here? If you kept this cloud step in New Game Plus. So you could just go as fast as you wanted through New Game Plus again. I think that'd be cool. 
Alright, let's go down, because that's where we just fought the frog. Let's go down to the water. Kind of zigzag a little bit. I'm still looking for more lightning. I know there's at least one more spot. This rock formation isn't something, right? Oh, I hear the cricket again. Alright, I gotta give it a try since we're right here. Definitely heal. I'll try mashing, but mashing seems counterintuitive. Or maybe you just have to... Okay. What? Oh, what am I doing wrong? Never mind. I grow... I grow weary of that fight. Uh, this looks interesting. But I guess it's not. <laughs> I really don't know where I've been and haven't. Not a lot of landmarks. I know the waterfall, that's about it. Oh, we've definitely been here though, because I remember this big old hole. Hmm. Not exactly riveting, riveting stuff here. All right, let's get high. This looks intriguing. Did it just knock? Okay. Water Curtain Cave. So there is something behind a waterfall, just a very, very specific one. No, don't. Mm. Oh, maybe that was right. It wasn't. Falling was not right. I just can't believe there's no treasure. Wh what? Yeah, no treasure, no loot. Um, just not much of anything other than bosses. Couple of random mobs here and there. Not a lot going on though. So what, what do I do up here? Yeah, alright, I'm confused. I can't just... Oh, I can do that. I can just jump. It's 
just didn't like it the first time. All right. Cool setting. I would love a keeper shrine though. This looks suspicious. Oh, I was waiting for something to happen, but no, the camera just shifted perspective. That's a. St oh. Is this Sun Wukong staff? I. So maybe I don't. Maybe I don't have the requirements yet to interact with this. Oh, maybe I need the rest of the armor. Okay, so maybe I get the other two pieces of armor and then come back here and get that. And then, okay. All right, got some ideas. Of course, now I gotta run all the way, all the way out. And get stuck on branches. <clears throat> well, this is a. Uh, I mean, I'm not mad that they let me there. I'm a little mad that I can't use the cloud because that's quite the long run and I can't do anything there yet. But good to know. Oh, yeah, I'm. I'm thinking that that is the staff that I'll be collecting. But I need probably all of Wukong's armor first. Would you just let me use Somersault Cloud? There it is. Okay. So, any more lightning? I haven't seen any. Okay, it's kind of knocking me around here. More lightning. Oh, what in the world is that? Oh, I'm not dead. Oh, and I have no mana. What is this? Giant sh chicane dang. Oh, we actually read about you a long time ago, didn't we? Oh, good. Um, can't use it in battle. I can only target his body? Oh, 80, 8,700 damage that, that was? All right, I will, I will pause the recording and come back because that's a long trip. Try this again, shall we? Oh gosh, I did take half damage. Yikes. to break 
these. Wow, when you're targeting, whoa. When you're locked on and you still miss that badly, that's, that's an odd move. So I, I probably have to break those crystals, right? What are you gonna do? Oh, that was the move. I think I can use rock solid on this. I can on that. That's good. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, I'm breaking these crystals. That's good. Wow, I actually got him really far down. Heal. Nice damage. Wow. Oh, that actually still hit me a little bit. Oh, shoot. Get up. <gasps> no way. Ah. Oh. Seems like a weird move. Should I be trying to get up to you? Heal? Can you dodge him or what? Get ready to jump. Oh, he does multiple. Come on, really, really big hit. That's the move right there. Nope, not that. I don't think that hit me. If I'm just being completely honest. Come on, give me something really punishable. Nope, this one's dumb. Enjoy that. Good. Oops. I'm gonna heal again. Oh, 
Oh, you're you're not gonna stay still at all. Because if I'm too close, you'll just drag me in? Like, what if I get close to you? What happens then? Get up. Yeah, obviously that doesn't work. I'm just gonna try to get up close because I don't know what's gonna happen. What? That, apparently. What? Nothing's hitting me. Nothing's hitting me. I mean, I'm well under his arm. It just... Okay, good. I can dodge it, but now what? I, the camera just goes absolutely insane and there's an invisible wall. That's what happens. Wow. I don't know, game. I don't know what your angle is here, but it's bad. Of course, by the time I get there, yep. Okay, this could be good. Right, do it again, do it again. We're just gonna go right in here. Okay. But there's no, no more big crystals, but that was good. I still don't understand. He could still kill me one shot, though, and that, that's what I'm not loving. Come on. I think the other crystals must be on this hand, right? like this terrain right here. What are you even doing? That really? That move? Strange. Should I not be behind you? Feels like I sh am not supposed to be behind you. All right, let's go back to the front. It's safe to say this is not my favorite boss fight. Cause look, I'm not gonna get there. Jeez. Oh, God. 
heal. Give me, give me something. Thank you. Misunderstood the assignment. And I'm out of heals. No. Give me that hand. Oh wait, wait, this is good, this is good. You can do it a second time, right? There's no crystals here. Oh, come on, terrain. Not quite. And I can't heal. I'm gonna die. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, interesting. No, I don't know who that is. Never mind. Skanda of Consciousness. Another Skanda. Which I still don't know what they do. And a new portrait. Oh, is this actually all that's... Wait, another portrait? Oh, New York White King. Oh, this was just for Xiang, Xiang Jiang, or however you say his name. Okay. Interesting. So what's up with this new Skanda? Adaptability alone uncovers significance and subtlety. Once hidden inside the Buddha's head, treasure has a secret yet to be revealed. So we have consciousness, choice, thought, feeling, and form. So I have five different skandhas. What they're for, 
I... I don't know. I... I don't know. Alright, well... I'd like to find a new Keeper Shrine, because it really is about time we called it apart, because I do have some portraits to read, including the new Yogoi King. Hmm. Not really sure where else to go. I guess maybe I should just try to take on the cricket again, although I can't seem to figure that out. Is it just stamina? Maybe I don't have enough and maybe I ought to... Wait, 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 wait. I have... Oh, wait a minute, what is... What is this place? Have I... Have I been here? That's the waterfall. Can't do anything there yet that I know of. But should I pop the the medicine that gives me increased maximum stamina for some time? Possibly. All right, let's, before we wrap up, let's go try the cricket one more time. Of course, I just have to find him. Nope. There he is. Now I'm not gonna make it there in time, but let's just see where he hops from here. make it? No, 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 no. Alright, not super far. Wait a minute. Do I not? That was silly. Okay, it can't get me in the air. I don't have any health left, do I? I don't... I don't have any health left. I have plenty of stamina. Yeah. It's just gonna kill me anyway. Let's just let's just go for broke. Okay. Well, I survived, but what is going on? I'm holding the clutch. Now, I suppose I ought to uh, rest up anyway. Tell you what, let's use the talisman. Oh, because I'm not on the ground. All right, just descend. Don't hop off. Oh, there was a Keeper Shrine. That's what it was trying to tell me. Oh, that's silly. Tear Sight Force. Okay. All right. Okay. So, you know what? I think at that point, we're coming up on an hour. I'm going to go ahead and call it a part there. I will read those journals here in a moment. Next time, we'll give the Cricket another attempt or two and if i can't figure it out i might have to look it up otherwise i might also look up to see what other bosses are in the area if there's any that i've missed because i don't want to miss any just because i'm zipping around on cloud form but i also don't want to just run around such an empty area um my two cents chapter six major letdown i mean just a massive drop in the quality this game has brought me to expect and that giant shangdang Probably the worst fight in the game. And it's it's right at the end of the game, and that's a bummer. But, all right, if you're not interested in the lore and story, I will say thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. For everyone else, let's see what we got. Lang Ba Ba. In fairy mountains, fate decides my stay. By nature's flow, I turn to stone each day. Seeking truth with purpose, unaware of the length, with steadfast heart, I carve my path, my strength. Long ago, there was a Taoist who dedicated, dedicated his life to capturing yoguais. 
During one encounter with a frog guy, he traveled far and wide seeking their traces. Along the way, he gained many opportunities and became a highly skilled Taoist. He also came to understand that all beings had their own ways of survival and were no longer obsessed with over capturing yoguais. Instead, he grew curious about their lives. One day, as he passed by Mount Huaguo, he was captivated by the beautiful scenery and decided to release the tadpole that had accompanied him on his journey back into the mountain stream. Unexpectedly, as soon as he let the little frog guy go, several bolts of lightning struck down, revealing a group of armored celestial soldiers. The Taoist thought he had caused some trouble and was about to apologize when the celestial soldiers attacked him without a word. He quickly drew his sword to defend himself but was gradually overwhelmed by their numbers. Just as he was about to be seriously injured, a large stone frog leaped from the riverbank. Unafraid of the flashing blades and even the lightning summoned by the soldiers, the stone frog helped the Taoist fend off his opponents. The Taoist approached the riverbank and realized that the little frog why he had released had brought the stone frog to rescue him. He was deeply grateful. From that day on, the Taoist no longer aspired to become immortal. Instead, he frequently visited the frog wise, asking them for tadpoles to release into various beautiful mountains and rivers. People began to call him the Frog Immortal. Cloud Treading Deer The wind uplifts the noble high, while low clouds mark the flesh to die. Halt steps in azure skies or roam where earth's filth lies. When Sun Wukong was learning the arts at Mount Lingtai, Patriarch Bodhi not only taught him the 72 transformations, but also imparted the somersault cloud technique. From then on, Wukong's body became invulnerable and his movements agile. However, when he showed off his skills in front of others, the Patriarch foresaw that his lack of patience would lead to trouble. Immortals often say that Sun Wukong was at his most mischievous and ruthless when he was the Monkey King. Yet during that time, aside from his battles with the Celestial Court, he rarely harmed other beings. It was only after he became a disciple, following his master and gaining direction, that he developed many thunderous methods. Stealing, robbing, kidnapping, killing arson, and destroying mountains and caves all became second nature to him. This cloud treading deer is said to be transformed from Sun Wukong's lotus silk cloud treaders. It reflects his free spirited and agile nature, but also harbors his inherent ferocity. Once he falls behind, his true nature is revealed and he can no longer maintain his carefree facade. Giant Shigangdang On stone peaks, a divine birth is found, yet its dual hearts keep wisdom bound. To shake the sky and earth seems light, but only with schemes known does fortune take flight. In Mount Huaguo, after the birth of the sage stone monkey, the remaining celestial stone continued to absorb the essence of the sun and moon for a thousand years. Through self-cultivation, it eventually transformed into a yokai as large as a mountain. This celestial stone originally possessed boundless divine power. However, not long after its transformation, someone planted a fleshy Buddha head on it. Since the emergence of this fleshy Buddha head, it had constantly absorbed the will from the celestial stone's body. The celestial stone spirit grew weary and had to burrow into the ground, absorbing the pure essence of the earth to replenish itself. Over time, it drained the surrounding mountains of their will, causing flowers to wither, leaves to fall, and all living beings to perish. Meanwhile, the fleshy Buddha head, nourished by the celestial stone, almost became the master of the stone body. Fully energized, it began to develop the skanda of consciousness within. If it were to complete the other four skandhas, who knows how atrocious the celestial stone guai would become. I have all those skandhas. So what does that mean for me? Alas, this celestial stone nurtured by the universe ended up serving as a mere vessel for the parasitic fleshy Buddha head. Perhaps this is what people often refer to as fate and destiny. And here's the mandrel chief. A heart caring with dreams unclear, she left the mountain ventured far and near, seeking the five skandhas, found not. True wisdom lies in letting go, she's taught. The Tripitaka scriptures depict the mandrel as possessing extraordinary abilities, capable of grasping the sun and moon, shrinking mountains, discerning fortunes, and manipulating the universe with its power. In Mount Huaguo, a day unlike any other, unfolded. The mandrel chief was leaping through the mountains when she suddenly saw the celestial stone on the mountaintop explode, producing a stone egg. As the wind blew over it, the stone egg transformed into a stone monkey. The mandrel chief approached to observe and the stone monkey began to mimic, learning to crawl and walk. 
Subsequently, the stone monkey bowed to the four directions, and its eyes emitted two beams of golden light that shot up to the celestial palace. Delighted, the mandrel chief brought the stone monkey into the forest to meet the other monkeys. This extraordinary stone monkey soon proved its worth, and after a series of contests, became the king of the monkeys, earning the title Handsome Monkey King. For three to five hundred years, the monkey king led the monkeys in carefree joy. One day, he began to worry about life and death. The mandrel chief advised the monkey king to go out and seek the Tao. After the monkey king returned, he rewarded the mandrel chief by appointing her as a general. Later, the monkey king was titled the Great Sage, became a celestial official, caused havoc in the celestial palace, was subdued and imprisoned under a mountain, became a monk, achieved enlightenment, and finally became a Buddha. After several rises and falls, he ultimately returned to the mountain and transformed back into a stone. One day, an immortal appeared in the dream to the mandrel chief, telling her that all five skandhas are empty and can transcend all suffering. The immortal explained that if she could visit all the sacred places and temples in the world, gather the essence of the five skandhas, and make the five skandhas pill, she might be able to awaken the stone and restore its divine spirit. Thus she traveled across the three realms and four lands, searching for ingredients to make the pill, until she encountered a monkey that looked exactly like the Monkey King. Now hold on, there's something here. So, in this dream, the mandrel was shown that she needs to locate all five skandhas, which I have, and create the five skandhas pill. So if the skandhas are the ingredients for the pill, I know someone who makes pills. And that would be Zhu Dog back in the uh, the hub, the Rui, Rui Temple. So I think what we'll do is at the start of the next episode, we're going to go back to the Zodiac. And we're going to see if that has anything to do with it, because this this seems to actually be cluing me into something, which I like. I wish more of the journals had more clues, if this turns out to be a clue at all. But that is going to do it for this episode of Blue Plays Black Myth Wukong. Not much left, it would seem. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying. And I'll see you next time.